hello friends so today i am going to speak on something that uh, all of us are interested in after we are installing a hackintosh well that's exactly connecting to internet by wi-fi a lot of people find it difficult to connect to internet because uh, they don't usually have an ethernet connection and only have a wi-fi modem in their houses so just like our friend here they uh, these people including me myself had to get some sort of uh, help uh, in connecting to the wi-fi networks <laughs> about an year ago i had made a video on how to connect your phone to internet using usb tethering via your hackintosh device well you could just refer to this video as given in the description link and um you could just identify with uh, the methodology to connect your phone to internet because that's a crucial step in this video tutorial that i'm doing right now so first of all you'll have to connect your hackintosh to internet by the uh, previously mentioned method of usb tethering and then usually if you are going familiar with a uh, number of hackintosh platforms or dealing with wi-fi connectivity on hackintosh you will be familiar with two terms that is the first is broadcom and uh, it is basically a wi-fi card manufacturer uh, well and the other one is uh, Realtek or Railing. Now, uh, as you can see here in this forum, they are discussing on how to connect a Hackintosh uh, to internet by Wi-Fi by tweaking the hardware settings by using another card or, or by using a USB dongle because most of the inbuilt uh, Wi-Fi drivers and uh, hardware devices in laptops and all they don't uh, support the Apple um, configuration so basically if you want to get uh, Wi-Fi connectivity on your device it is a prerequisite like you have to change either your card on your device or use a compatible device as it had, has been tested by a lot of people well, so it is just a matter of a question of choice. You'll either have to choose a card of your own or you'll have to take your chances and um, try your best with the card that you already have. So I'll just uh, help you out here by going over to the Hackintosh Zone website and uh, navigating to their download section where they hopefully have a number of um, drivers for enabling um, Wi-Fi connectivity in devices that already have the driver uh, compatible hardware. Well, technically it might be possible for some of the laptops and some of the hardware computers uh, to actually connect to the internet through Wi-Fi by downloading and installing these drivers. As, uh, as you can see, these drivers do support a number of hardware devices. but that's really a rare rare chance most of the devices almost 95 percentage of the devices the laptops they don't support hackintosh on the go so you'll have to make serious tweakings to the hardware uh, to enable wi-fi connectivity on your device well technically speaking that's much more convenient rather than having to plug in your device every time you want to connect to the internet so yeah you'll have to take some time off your busy schedules for doing this work and anyway i'll just download these files here and leave them in the description below in my cloud uh, server so you could just click on the link in the description below and um, download these files and readily install them and i hope it will work out for you in case you're having a compatible hardware on your device your laptop or your desktop that you had converted into a hackintosh and by the way there are, that reminds me of something i'm planning on doing a new video on uh, assembling a fresh hackintosh on a cheap way by using either a pci card as you can see here or by using a USB Wi-Fi dongle along with um, cheap but efficient hardware so that I can make a money efficient Hackintosh out of the scrap 
so now if you are having a hack and door right now then your choice is either to buy a pc wi-fi card or a usb wi-fi adapter as you can see here but um I'll just suggest you to go ahead with the USB Wi-Fi adapter because it's much cheaper than uh, earlier uh, mentioned a uh, PCI card. All you have to do is just uh, plug it in and uh, install the software that came along and I hope it works. So I just went ahead and bought this uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter as you can see it's from a brand called Libor uh, and um, it has a good connectivity range of 150 meter and uh, it's okay -ish. not perfect but okay -ish. and uh, as it's cheap well it's an attractive alternative to a wi-fi card too so uh, i'm not doing any kind of promotion activity here so if you feel like um, using this one then know it that it was uh, helpful for me it support it was supported from um, my hack and dosh device so i could just plug it in and um, you know pop the cd that came along with the device into my hack and dosh and um, installed the driver that was in there and it fixed up the Wi-Fi for me now I can just uh, seamlessly connect to Wi-Fi uh, through my Hackintosh well all I had to do is uh, you know was to install this uh, DMG file as um, I'll be demonstrating right now and then there were a couple of instructions uh, alongside and uh, I'll just go through the instructions now for the sake of you getting um, some familiarity with it. Well, if you are buying this uh, device, you could just uh, order it online or get it from a shop in your locality. Uh, as I had bought it from my local shop. Well, the instruction says that this thing has been made by Railink. Um, I don't know what that... Uh, company does actually apart from making a usb wi-fi devices of course so here they have given a lot of detailed um, descriptions on what you have to do after buying this device how to set up your wi-fi usb adapter connect to network tweak all the settings and all such stuff so if you are really interested you can just go through these instructions over here and um, act accordingly I'll just skim through these instructions uh, for um, getting a vague idea of what I'm going to do into my Hackintosh. Now I'll just go ahead and um, install my USB Wi-Fi adapter driver. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, reboot your computer after installing the driver and uh, you'll have three bars on your top bar and that gives the Wi-Fi indication. You have to just um, click on it and you can just turn it off or turn on your Wi-Fi network on your device. Now I have turned it on and I'm waiting for you uh, to see how it's going to work. Here the driver information says it's from MediaTek. Now I'll just, um, just show you all the other options here in this uh, utility interface. And uh, here I have my Wi-Fi connection and I'm just going to connect um, by typing in my password. It has been connected by the green indication in the right section. Now I'll just try surfing the internet and uh, see whether the device has actually been connected to internet through Wi-Fi or not. The internet is uh, perfectly working and the Wi-Fi is good. Well, now, if you have any doubts, um, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as fast as possible. And by the way, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, like my video and share it with other Hackintosh users as it will be really beneficial for them. Thank you.